Once upon a time there was a brother and a sister, and they traveled to a land far away. A land full of beauty, history and mystery still waiting to be discovered. Their trip took them to unexpected places and gifted them the opportunity to make new friends in this foreign land. Most importantly, their adventure reminded them that even though life is constantly changing, they will both always be there for one another. This is Mexico and this is Juan and Juli's story. Alright, what's up guys? So, made it to Mexico City last night. We flew direct flight from Houston and uh, we're staying in a cool little Airbnb in this neighborhood right now where we're in called Roma Norte. And the best part about this trip is I'm with my bestie and my beautiful sister. We're going to be in Mexico uh, the whole week. We're headed tomorrow to Tasco, which is a pueblo magico, so a magical town. And then we're coming back to Mexico City for the last four days. So yeah, come along, join us. It's going to be just an epic trip. Uh, man, we're so excited. Vamos. We got up early to make the most of our first day and headed to a cool bookstore called Cafeveria El Pendulo in Roma Norte. We had breakfast and then grabbed an Uber to a local bazaar in a neighborhood called San Angel. Muchas gracias. Cuida lo porque es de vidrio. This place is really cool. Amazing. I want to buy like 10 different things. <laughs> we have no space in our luggage, so unlucky, but it's really beautiful. Mexico City. Buenas, ¿cómo estás? Gracias, ¿cómo va todo? Mexico City is one of the most populated cities in the world, with an approximate 22 million people living in the entire metropolitan area. There are so many different things to do, but we decided to head to Bosque de Chapultepec. This is one of the biggest parks in the entire Western Hemisphere, which is uh, pretty astounding. It's considered the lungs of Mexico City. And historically, the Aztecs considered this to be a very sacred site. It's believed that they would scatter the ashes of some of their rulers after they had passed away. So we're just gonna, oh, little squirrel. <laughs> so we're gonna, gonna walk around for a little bit and uh, explore Bosque de Chapultepec. Really cool. Just a little bit of backstory, Juli and I are 10 years apart. I am the oldest of three boys and Juli was the best surprise for our family. Juli and I have always been great friends, but in 2019, we had the chance of living together in Medellin, Colombia. And that year, we truly became best friends. We were able to travel to some amazing places and going to Mexico in 2021 after the pandemic was really special for the both of us. Now, let's head back to Mexico City. I had to buy a locker to put my camera and uh, I didn't have any change and this really nice guy just paid for it. So that was really sweet. Without a doubt, the main attraction in Bosque de Chapultepec is Castillo de Chapultepec, which sits at the top of a large hill overlooking the city. It is a beautiful building dating back to the 18th century, and throughout history, it has served as a military academy, imperial residence, presidential residence, and currently, it is Mexico's National Museum of History. Get <laughs> So, here's something you need to know about traveling with Juan. Um, you're probably gonna get kicked out of most places, or <laughs> severely yelled at. We just got yelled at for um, sitting on like a ledge and um, taking pictures, even though I didn't want the picture. I just was just gonna take one of Juan, but of course I got roped into it and then we were getting yelled at. It was too much. An old lady looked very disappointed at me, but 
It's all good now. It was not that bad. <laughs> I was scared. What do you think of El Castillo and Bosques de Chapultepec? It was really cool. It was, it really, was really, really nice. Yeah, I didn't expect it. Didn't know it existed. Didn't expect it to be so pretty. It was quite the hike. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Um, definitely worth checking out. And uh, the fee to get in was like four US dollars? Yeah, four USD. Don't take pictures on the ledge. <laughs> Hate it. it was not that bad. We just got on a ledge they to take a picture. They told us to get down and we got down, so not a big deal. But uh, so far, really, really awesome first day in Mexico City. And right now we're headed to have lunch at a place called Sonia's. ¿Qué otros estados van a visitar o nada más Guerrero? Sí, solo Guerrero y el DF. It's been an awesome first day in Mexico City. Just so good being able to hang out with Jules and what we've seen so far has been amazing. Tomorrow we're headed to Tasco. I've been wanting to go to Tasco for a while now. So I'm really, really excited. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. I just had the best chilaquiles. Oh my goodness. Really, really good. And Jules had um, some really good yeah. eggs. Yeah. Divorciados. <laughs> Así se llama. Huevos divorciados. The divorced eggs. Yeah, it, the divorced eggs. You see the plate, it totally makes it sense. sense. And uh, now we're gonna go finish packing and head to Tasco. Vamos. Made it to Tasco. Vamos. Jules, yo creo que espera me mirar en Google Maps y vemos dónde está el hotel. Gracias. Uy, this is quite the hill. ¿Necesitas ayuda? ¿Cómo? No, tranquilo, gracias. Pero muy amable. ¿De dónde eres? Francia. Ah, super bien. Colombia, pero crecimos. Crecimos en Estados Unidos. ¿De, de, de dónde? Colombia? Bogotá. Bogotá. ¿Sí conoces? Uh, no, no. Uh, quiero ir a Colombia, a Cali, a Medellín, a Medellín sí, a... Cartagena. Cartagena. Mucho gusto. <laughs> Te cuidas. All right, just what do you got? Um, turn here. No, you're joking. I'm not. Up that hill? Yeah. Tour de France. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. <laughs> I'm pulling the 70 pound suit. By your choice. You're the one I know. who's filming right now. That doesn't change the 70 pound suit. <laughs> it's pretty steep. No. No, you're joking. Another one? Oh, we made it. Hotel Santa Paula. Ay, muchas gracias. Adelante, Adelante, Adelante Dios. Dios. We found this hotel through booking.com and uh, yeah, man, so excited to explore Tasco. It is Mexico's legendary silver mining town and uh, it dates back to even before the Spaniards ever came here. Yeah, it's gonna be a great few days and uh, it's time to go explore, vamos. After having lunch at a restaurant in the main plaza, we asked some locals where we could find some Mexican horchata Horchata is a delicious drink made from rice milk and it is flavored with cinnamon and sugar. We then walked around Tasco's winding streets and headed back to the hotel to get a good night rest. The next day, we got up early for the Airbnb experience we had booked, but we truly had no idea what awaited us. Hola, ¿cómo los dos? Sí. Ah, uh, uh, mucho gusto. Yo soy Juliana. Igual. Sí, me gusta hacer videos. Sí. Padrísimo.
<laughs> As usual, the less prepared no. for this sort of adventure. Here, not me. <laughs> no, I mean we didn't know. I mean we I bought water know. shoes. We bought water yeah, shoes. Yeah, but I came more prepared, don't Guys, Alfredo is a legend, seriously. Un gran Hoy legend. vamos a divertir. <laughs> Vamos chicos, viene, ánimo, a la aventura. Sí, de verdad. Esto no es lo que We thought these were like some little waterfalls. <laughs> we're idiots. The experience is called Thousand Waterfalls Secret Cave, but we genuinely thought we would hike a little bit, take some pictures, and that would be it. I guess we should have read better, but it was 100% worth it. What a wild and beautiful place. Climbing up that massive waterfall was truly incredible. You just feel so alive. It was a day neither of us will ever forget. Dude, that is one of the coolest things we've ever done, no? Amazing. Ridiculous. And beautiful, oh my gosh. I really Great. hope the video did it justice because like, it was just incredible. Like real life jungle book. Seriously. Mowgli. And dude, legend, legend. No, no, no. I mean, Alfredo, Alfredo? Legend. legend. Legend, un crack. Yeah. But Jules, she hit that eight meter waterfall jump. <laughs> Increíble. Oh, <laughs> grande. Y Efraín, bro. Guys, Efraín, <laughs> el capo, sí, el capo. <laughs> After such an epic adventure, it was nice to sit down for a delicious meal. I just want a warm shower now. <laughs> I don't know if we just didn't read on Airbnb correctly, but that is ridiculous. That's what I imagine like the Jungle Book would be like, you know? Like if Mowgli lived anywhere, he'd live right here. Alfredo. Crack, en serio, mil no, gracias. Hombre. No, fue una machera, un poquito, no. Un, po un poquito hoy de, de, lo, de lo de aquí, ¿no? Mañana, no, pues mañana continuaremos. Nos Esta nos historia mañana. continuará. Ajá, listo, Ajá. nos vemos mañana, bro. Un placer. This mine was accidentally discovered about eight years ago, but it dates back to pre-colonial times before the Spaniards. The native people here used this mine to get silver, gold, and other minerals for their use. But when the Spanish arrived, they hid the mine. The Spanish actually never discovered this. And uh, the native people, even though they weren't actually Aztecs, they were respectful to the Aztec traditions and deities. And they paid tribute from some of the, the silver and gold that was mined here, so really fascinating history and uh, incredible. I mean, how deep it is and that it's been essentially untouched for over 500 years. 19 kilos? Yeah. Yes, 19 kilos. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> it is pretty amazing how big the world is. 
traveling gives you the opportunity to see life from a different lens. You get to see how silver is made and turned into beautiful works of art. You share a drink of Mexican mezcal. El mezcal es eh, también de origen del agave, igual que el, que el tequila. Sin embargo, por el proceso, el mezcal tiene un sabor y una textura diferente. Este mezcal está eh, reposado en miel. Está hecho eh, de forma artesanal en el estado de Guerrero, en la región norte, aquí en Tasco. Salud, Salud. para México, para Guerrero, y... para los aretes de Juli. <risa> Algo así. ¿no? You enjoy delicious food and you eat tacos where the locals do. These are the best meals, the ones you don't plan for. <laughs> Yeah, it's really good. On a scale of 1 to 10. 10, 10. <laughs> Most importantly, you meet new people who welcome you into their country and consider you a friend. Alfredo, eres un grande. Gracias por todo. Ser mexicano es lo mejor que me ha pasado. De verdad que me siento orgulloso de mi país, de mi identidad, de, de donde nací. Y pues lo que puedo decirle a la gente que pueda venir a México es que tiene que conocer la verdadera identidad del mexicano a través de su gastronomía, de su historia, de sus raíces. Siempre como, como persona siempre estaré eh, con los brazos abiertos para recibir a quien venga. Y creo que eso es lo que me han enseñado la vida, ¿no? Más allá de mexicano, sino como humano, debes estar para, para los demás. No importa la raza, no importa el color, no importa el credo religioso. Tasco was unforgettable, but it was time to head back to Mexico City. We are in Coyoacán, which is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Mexico City and the neighborhood where Frida Kahlo grew up and lived with Diego Rivera when they got married. So yeah, today's officially been dubbed Frida Kahlo Day. Look at her, she's so pumped. <laughs> I asked Juan if it was cold because he went out before me and he said, no, it's sunny and it feels so good. It is so cloudy and it's freezing. <laughs> I'm not the right person to ask because I love cold weather. But uh, yeah, Frida Kahlo Day, really excited. Gonna have a, a bike tour uh, around the neighborhood and just learning a bit about Frida Kahlo, her house where she grew up, and uh, Diego Rivera. And then we're going to the, the museum. So it's gonna be epic. Today's gonna be a really awesome day. Bueno, es Ascaro, ella es de Ciudad de México, ha crecido aquí toda su vida y pues nada, no, conoce la historia, la verdad era increíble, yo no tenía idea lo de Cortés y sí, ahí mismo crack, ella de las nuestras. So, Coyoacán means land of the coyotes or the land where people used to uh, adore coyotes. Oh my god. <laughs> you snuck it in. We did it, I had to sneak it in. Sí. Nah, hermoso. Gracias. Atole and churros. And music. Te recogí la música, ya. Que día México. ¿Qué tal está el atole? Me encantó. No, la verdad, son muy ricos, ¿no? It's so good. Cantando hacia el negro. Amazing that Frida grew up around here. So excited to see her house. Yeah, it's been an awesome tour. Caro is a legend. I recommend trying to start with the smaller because okay. they taste the same. About to try some grasshoppers. Chapulines, no? Chapulines here. No, yo quiero uno grande de una vez. Let's go for the big one. Jules, you in? No, dude. <laughs> They're way too big. Gracias. There it is. Sí, ya. 
Sweet. Can I have one? Ah, obvio, oh, no. Yeah. Los que quieras. All right. Yeah. I'm going to join you guys. Okay. <laughs> Mexican oh. trail mix. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, there's a yeah, lot of lime. lime. A lot of lime. Limey. Feel that the legs were. Uh, <laughs> no barrel. No. I love them. You'll see the aftertaste is a very grasshoppery. Yeah. But it's very good. It is a little like yeah. very grassy. So we are in the garden, the patio of Frida's childhood home. And I can't take any video inside, but man, it's really, really pretty. The emblematic blue house. Juan matches the wall. <laughs> I planned it out. No, but this is so cool. We're really excited to, to explore. And man, the garden is so pretty. Apart from being Frida's childhood home, this was also the house where she moved back to with Diego Rivera and they lived here from 1929 to 1954. Really awesome, and obviously now it's a museum. Gracias. Ciao. All right, we did it. Frida's museum, well, Frida's house. A lot of her uh, most important works aren't here. They're actually in Chicago, present, present day. They're like on a tour. But still, oh, that was really awesome. No, yeah, really Extremely cool. intriguing story, for it's sure. a big house. Huge house. What a big house. <laughs> Mexico City is fascinating. It has so much history. There are stunning plazas, amazing museums, surprises you don't expect, great weather, beautiful parks, really cool bookstores, delicious food, and incredible restaurants. Guys, this is Andres. We met in 2018, South yeah. Africa. A while back now. But now we're meeting up in Sky Mexico. that's it. Yeah. We're about to have some grasshopper tacos. Let's go. Go Jules! The restaurant uh, gave us a little VIP access to the bottom part of the restaurant. See, you guys see? Up above the restaurant and we're below. It's incredible. So this area of Mexico City, um, a volcano erupted about how many thousand years like ago? A thousand or so. Like a thousand or so years ago. And so it was believed that you couldn't really build anything here, but this incredible architect, uh, last name Barragan, he started building homes. He bought out the land and now we're here. It's pretty amazing. Look at that. And we even have <laughs> this awesome disco ball. So epic. I can't believe we were above. Like, <laughs> we were just eating up top. We just made it to Teotihuacan and uh, we're with a, a pretty big group and our guide Jane is going to take us through the whole archaeological site. And this is where the very legendary pyramids of the sun and moon are. I thought it was the Aztecs that built them but it wasn't. It was the people of Teotihuacan. They disappeared and no one really knows exactly what happened but the Aztecs arrived, they found this place, and they, they saw it as a, as a holy, holy place, sacred ground. And so they also began um, to carry out religious and uh, sacrificial activities here. So, yeah, extremely amazing. That one is the Pyramid of the Sun. It's so amazing. Oh my gosh, it's wow. It's just so much mystery and how big they are. It's, it's so impressive. As a history buff, I'm just buzzing. <laughs> Our trip to Mexico was coming to an end, and life had some big surprises coming. I didn't know it at the time, but I would be getting married in January to my now beautiful wife, Steph. Our trip to Mexico was a great reminder that life is full of different seasons, and being able to share so many experiences with my sister the past few years has been a wonderful gift. Juli, you are such a beautiful person, 
and I'm so excited to see what life has in store for you. Uh, dude, you're such an amazing friend and sunny. Me too, bro. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Hey, What's up, everyone? I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video. It means so much to me. Mexico was an incredible trip, and I'm so thankful I was able to go with my sister. Jules, you are my bestie, and I love you so much. If you liked the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps a ton. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.